Hi guys, welcome to today's video. We are going to be doing a Q&A with the sheep today. <laughs> Lady is a little bit camera shy, but it's okay. It's going to be fine. You look very pretty today. Your hair looks good. <laughs> so with further ado, make sure you like and subscribe to this video and we will go ahead and get into the Q&A. Okay, so I came up to the sheep shed because I had to give Lola that dog food. <laughs> That's Lady right there. She's like, hey, you came up here, you give us our alfalfa pellets. I figured it'd be fun to have them in the background, but it's only a matter of time before they realize that I don't have anything for them and then they're gonna be like, peace out, we're okay. Okay, so I was just gonna go through the list of questions that I've been <laughs> asked and so uh, if you guys have any in the future you can always email me um, I'll leave my email in the description box below or you can always comment on the videos I always see those so um, does Ryan think cutting down trees is fun does he do this a lot uh, Ryan does cut down quite a bit of trees but it's because we're in a program with the NRCS and so he is being like he's getting paid to cut down those trees that way that we have more area for our cattle to graze in the future um, I would say that he doesn't think it's that fun I mean I, probably at first it was <laughs> cutting down stuff with the chainsaw but in the end um, it's hard on his body and stuff so he doesn't really enjoy it he's very tired when he comes home do you have any deer come around? Do you hunt them? We don't hunt them just because, I don't know, I don't know how to hunt. I, I would like to learn how to how to hunt deer. Um, we've seen a couple bucks this year and it makes me excited. I'm like, oh, we should go figure out how to hunt and stuff, but we just don't have time to. So, no, we don't, but we do have deer all over our, um, all over our property. Do you feed your pigs marshmallows? Or what do they eat so we give them like a corn ration um, and it has a couple other things mixed in but they would totally eat our marshmallows if I gave them to them uh, we only have Posey right now and she enjoys all of our food scraps since she's the only one but whenever we have sheep uh, or not sheep sorry sheep in the background whenever we have our pigs um, in the spring, we always give them food scraps from our house, and I mean, they just eat anything. Um, do you ever have baby pigs? We bring our pigs onto our farm in the spring, and they're normally about uh, 40 pounds, so they're like three months old, and then we'll raise them up till we butcher them. But um, that's what Posey is for. So eventually, um, I just talked to a friend today, uh, and we will. Um, be AIing her so breeding her um, at probably six months so maybe we'll make it in February she needs to I don't know we'll see she might not get bred this year uh, we might wait till next year we might just end up buying piglets from somebody again but um, no we haven't had piglets on our farm yet but in the future we will which is really exciting I'm kind of nervous though to figure out how to like every animal is just so different and um, I was watching some videos on uh, um, pigs uh, farrowing is what it's called when they have their babies and um, I oh, what was I gonna say um, yeah I, I'm weird like that and I re do research like that but their uterus like where the babies are at it's like a two-part or like it's a u-shaped so some they like they'll have um, like a set like six and then the, the uterus will actually push those other babies around and so they kind of have two sets of piglets so there could be like a full like three or four hours in between uh, that first set of piglets and then the second set which I thought was very bizarre and I was like oh thank goodness I uh, 
read that and now I kind of know what to prepare for. But um, the friend that we bought him from in the past lives pretty close and she farrows all the time. Her, I think she has like four sows. So she's always a good resource for me if I do have questions. Um, when do you get your pigs? We always get them in the spring and then um, butcher them in the fall. What is your favorite animal? Oh, that's hard. I don't know. Um, I'd probably say my sheep right now um, just because they're new and they're exciting. I'm really excited for them to lamb. Um, they'll be lambing in mid to late April, um, sorry, May. Um, but we will have our new, our third uh, child here. And so that might be a little bit stressful, but I'll be excited to get one um, set of baby lambs underneath, under me. We have 31 ewes right now. Um, if you saw one of my last videos, we took out two of them, dink and doink, <laughs> my two little ewes, because they were getting out. And um, so we won't have 31 lambs, but um, hopefully we'll have a good set. We'll keep the females, then we'll be selling the males. Um, and then those females will um, be added to our flock and then um, become mamas, just like we do with the cows. Can we see your ram? I do have a video on our ram, um, us putting him out with the sheep, um, but it doesn't show a whole lot of video of him, but I will be making another video um, here soon. You might be able to, he's right here in the back. I don't know if you can see him. But I will be making a whole dedicated video on him and his breed and stuff. Um, just so people can, uh, I don't know, find out more about his breed. He is an Australian white, which is um, new in the U.S. Um, there's a long, crazy story with how he got here. And um, so you'll just have to wait for that video. Make sure you're subscribed if you aren't already. That way you can... Um, be the first to know about when that video posts. It'll be like within the next month though. Okay, um, another person was asking about um, if pigs are spooked easily um, like Posey and like if all pigs are. And I would say most of the time, yeah, Posey's still like a baby. So any baby animal like our calves and stuff, they're easily like startled and like, wait a second, what are you? like? What are you doing around here? You're, I'm not used to you. Um, but once they get to know us a little bit better, they're more calm. Especially our pigs. They're kind of like just big dogs by the end. Um, they let us pet them and stuff. And it's it's kind of fun to have them. Okay. Somebody was asking to see more about Ryan. Maybe we'll do another video and um, follow him around for the day or something. He would like that. Um, people were wanting a house tour for the, uh, farmhouse and, um, we can definitely figure out, I'll, maybe I'll wait till after Christmas. That way it's a little bit more picked up, <laughs> but, uh, I can definitely do a house tour. How did you get your sheep? Um, so I do have a video on that. I'll leave it in the link in the description box below, but we went all the way to mid Missouri to get our sheep. Um, I guess we got most of them from, I think like 25 of them from Missouri. And then that's also right next to where we got our sheep um, was where we got Lola. I think there, I do get quite a lot of questions on Lola. And um, I'm going to be doing a whole nother video on her and what she does on our farm and um, all the questions on that. So if you're interested in livestock guardian dogs or any information on that hold tight it'll be coming soon but yeah we went all the way to Missouri to get our sheep how often do you feed your pigs we just feed them once a day um, but then sometimes they get food scraps throughout the day do you have any baby puppies no but that would be a future goal for me I really want to I, I've always liked dogs and like breeding dogs um, but definitely in the future I would like, I think the sheep have sparked this, but um, I really want to breed some Border Collies. So, stay tuned. Probably a few years away, though, since we're having kids of our own. I can't imagine adding puppies and kids all at the same time running around the farm. That just seems like a lot. Um, 
Do your pigs have names? We just have Posey right now, and so she she has a name, but the other pigs, no, normally we don't name them. How many animals do you have? I can't count them all. <laughs> With all the cows that we have, and then all the sheep, 30, 31 sheep plus Buddy plus the ram, and then we have like 20 chickens. Uh, yeah, it's just too many. The cows are separated into different groups. We have our five cats, barn cats, two inside dogs. The list just goes on. We're pretty much a petting zoo without all the animals. <laughs> and if you want to come to the petting zoo, I will leave a link in the description box below, but we'll be uh, doing um, summer farm tours here um, in the spring and summer when it starts getting nice out again. Um, why do you not have any horses? Just because with small kids, we, uh, we just don't have them yet. I want to get one in the future, but we'll see about that. Why do you not have bunnies? I've had bunnies in the past and, um, I, I like bunnies, but we can't have the whole petting zoo. It just, it just wouldn't work out. <laughs> How did you get the cows? Um, originally... Ryan's dad, um, when Ryan was young, had cows out here on this farm. We've had cows on this property for a long time, but um, when we moved back here three or four years ago, I think almost five years ago, um, we kind of took over the cow herd because Ryan's dad was um, just kind of done with it. He d has his own separate business that he runs, and so uh, we took over the cows. So they were already here. We just kind of... Um, took them over and started running the herd as our own. Um, can your kids and husband be in the next video? Yes, we will try to do a fun video with all of the gang for sure. Do you have any more animals? No, I think I listed them all. Why did you want to live on the farm? I'm going to be doing a video on our like farm story here um, in January. But essentially, we just wanted to come back to the farm because it felt right. Like, this is where we were meant to be our purpose in life, um, raising these animals. And then we also wanted to raise our kids out here. Do you have a cat? Yes, we have five barn cats. Too many, too many. Um, what do you feed your animals, especially the sheep? So it's a little bit different right now because we're in winter. I'm going to be doing another video on... Um, uh, our winter grazing systems here soon but since the grass isn't growing as well as you can see this part up here that we have the sheep on right now is like a sandy hilltop so it doesn't really grow a lot of grass um, but uh, so we're feeding them hay and then supplementing with alfalfa um, but uh, normally we would be rotationally grazing them which means that we just put them in small paddocks like small chunks and give them a new chunk of grass every day so yeah do you have bees on your farm nope not part of the petting zoo <laughs> and then when do your cows start calving so like I said the sheep are gonna be lambing in um, May and I think if I'm not mistaken I think the the uh, the cows are in May as well now I'm going to get that mixed up because their gestation is different and our whole cow herd is not um, fully synced so we're actually going to be having some calves in uh, February here which is not going to be fun because it's still going to be cold but normally what we shoot for is for it um, them to uh, calve while it's still nice out and it's not um, super hot in the summer and not super cold in the winter so plus it's also really good for the feed quality um we we want those mamas even with the sheep the moms need to be giving getting the highest nutrition right before they um calve or they lamb because it helps the baby grow well hopefully you guys could hear me with all the wind i apologize I'm getting a mic here soon that way if I do do stuff outside um, it'll be a little bit better quality than what it is right now <laughs> they are still trying to figure out why I'm up here 
and why they are not getting their treat. They are not happy. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this q and I know that it was a little bit longer of a video, but hopefully you got something out of it. Like I always say, if you have questions, make sure you leave them in the comments below or you can always email me and I'd love to um, visit that and make sure that we get that topic addressed or make a whole um, another video about it because I love being able to educate you guys on what we are doing on our farm. Lady, come here. No, she's not. That's, that's my little girl lady in the front. Come here. Come here, lady. No, that's okay. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for supporting our channel. And we will see you guys in the next video. Make sure you like, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye, guys. Of course. Right after I quit filming and then she comes up. What? Why couldn't you guys have been here for the whole Q&A, huh? That would have been fun. Q&A with all you guys. No? You're still a little camera shy? A little camera shy?